April of 2011, tornadoes ripped a path through Alabama, killing more than 200 people and injuring more than 1,000. Most of the injuries were caused by flying debris, as winds in some areas measured over 200 miles per hour. UAB engineer Uday Vaidya and his team had been working on storm shelters in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. But after the 2011 tornado outbreak, his focus shifted to change the way storm shelters are built with the goal of saving more lives. 2011 happened and uh, you know the work we were doing we saw had a lot of applications for uh, tornado uh, related activities. UAB's one-of-a-kind modular composite tornado panels can be retrofitted into an existing room or new construction transforming it into a safe haven during tornadoes or hurricanes. As we have con concentrated on you know lightweight panels that would actually be outfit into a closet or a bathroom and so from basic science that was done in the lab, we have been able to scale it up to a concept that actually works in uh, real, real uh, application. The panels were tested at the National Storm Shelter Association, earning a FEMA certification, which requires materials to withstand a flying 15-pound 2 by 4 traveling at 100 miles per hour. I mean, you get a lot of like 2 by 4s flying at a home, a lot of debris is picked up and it actually can penetrate inside a house. So a lot of people just die from the debris that uh, comes through the walls and other things. So our panels will resist those uh, debris completely. This is a first uh, of a kind prototype uh, with the UAB panels. These are unique in that they are lightweight, similar to plywood and can be worked in the field similar to plywood, but they have the strength approximately equivalent to steel. The panels work in conjunction with an existing room to provide a convenient area that offers substantial protection without sacrificing any of the space or aesthetic beauty of the home. The surface could be made to look any way you really want. Right now they are in their natural virgin form, but they could be tailored in any way that a homeowner is interested in. The system should offer a lot of safety to the homeowner. Yeah, one life, I mean, every single life is worth it, right? So it's basically the 